What's up guys, how y'all doing? Trust you guys are doing well. It's your boy Michael. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you for the support. So, as you guys would have seen on your screen today, I'm going to be talking about um, should you accept an admission offer without a scholarship? Hmm. This is a really serious topic because I I know a um, couple of months ago there's this person that I mentor that got admission and um, for a grad school anyway without um, a scholarship and he was he was worried uh, should he accept it or not and one of, that's one of the reasons why I am creating this content and my opinion is going to be in two ways yeah. If you know you can pay for your um, first section, I will tell you to go ahead and accept the scholarship. Especially if you are applying to grad school. Yes, take note of that. Especially if you are applying to grad school, that uh, the duration of your whole program is just uh, maybe two sections. That's two years. Yeah, take note of that. I will tell you to go ahead and accept it. Uh, as long as you know you can pay for the first section, which is the first semester and the second semester. Um, based on my own personal experience, I know when I came to America, even though I got a partial scholarship, but I will tell you that the scholarship was not really that uh, big. I still have to part away with uh, a lot of uh, money in terms of paying my tuition. But as soon as I got into the sixth step, I, I find out that there are other scholarships that I can apply for, in which in the long run kind of help me to lower my tuition. So if you are the type that is applying to grad school and you know you can afford your first section uh, tuition, I will tell you to accept it yeah if you are able to do well in your class uh, able to do well um, within your department there is a chances that you are going to get uh, graduate assistantship in which is going to go a long way to 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 help you in fact there is this program i applied to uh, last year when i went to georgia state university uh, I, I think I, I told you guys about it when I went to Georgia State University and at first when I applied and they gave they gave me the admission they didn't give me any scholarship I was so worried because this is really a big school in Georgia and it costs a lot but as soon as I accepted the um, admission uh, they gave me institution in which this is something that they did not tell me before they gave me an institution that lower my tuition a little bit. Yes, it's a little bit. Yeah, because this is a this B, this is a B school in Georgia and it costs a lot. I think Georgia State and Georgia Tech cost more in Georgia, so it, it lowered the tuition for me a little bit. And as time progresses, before the semester start, a professor personally reached out to me and ask me if I'm interested in graduate assistantship. So, why am I saying all this is, if I've not accepted the uh, offer, all these things coming in will not have come in. Of course, when the professor reached out to me, I, at first, I didn't want to accept the kind of graduate assistantship he was trying to give me for one reason or the other. Uh, but when nothing was forthcoming, of course I accepted it. And that also helped in paying part of my tuition, also uh, gave me uh, a monthly stipend. So if you know you can afford to pay the first semester, at least, if you know you can afford to pay the first semester, accept the offer. You never can tell what is going to come in in the later on that might help you so 
that is that but take note what i said if you are going for grad school if i if you are going for undergrad i'm not going to advise you to accept it if you don't have the the adequate finances to cater for it because this is a this is a program that might take you at least maybe three years if you are looking towards maybe europe if it's america here yeah, you are looking towards like four years so you don't want to put yourself in uh in a pressure where um you pay the first section and the second section uh you are in a difficult uh situation so that is that my second phrase answer to this question is uh, if you know you don't have the tuition even for grad school don't accept it i've seen a lot of people on twitter saying that ah like when you get to uh for example let me use america when you get to america you can school and work i mean you can school and work and make money to pay your tuition i will tell you hmm, it's not possible well don't i don't want to say it's not possible but out of 100 there's 90 percent chances that it's not possible because let's say um the minimum wage yeah maybe um 12 dollar how much if your tuition per semester is seven thousand or five thousand how long are you going to work to make that kind of money especially if you if you're not bringing anything from your own country that's why i said is impossible so it's always advisable for you to have something at hand no matter how uh, work you do are you not going to study are you not going to go to class and mind you uh, let me tell you guys to study abroad is not just uh, the exam alone uh, the exam alone cannot you know make you to pass you have to be in class to do at you know to get attendance you have to do assignments then the exam itself so think about it very well before you do it because i've been seeing a lot of people who are saying hey, don't worry just accept it when you get there um you you get the you get the money to pay the tuition uh, i was having a child with a friend uh that we were living together uh, when i was staying in united arab emirates he's in presently in uk now doing his master and he was telling me how difficult uh, it is sometimes to to you know get a job as a student that there, there are a lot of things that people are not really saying now uh, i'm not saying his own experience in general but he was just telling me you know like how difficult is finding it um how difficult it is for him over there so that's what i feel i should share with you guys today it's just my own um, like my own advice because I know as an international student um, we just want to leave our own country or we just want to go to a new place that is going to contribute to our life in as much as this is really good and I you know I applaud people who want to do it because I also did the same thing I left home went to United Arab Emirates from there came to America but at the same time, if you are coming through student routes, make sure that um, you know you sort out your finances very well. If you know you can afford your tuition um, from for for the first section for a grad school, I will advise you accept the offer. In fact, if you reach out to me, I'll beg you to accept it. But if you don't have any money, please think twice about it. The, the math going on out there or the, uh, the story going on out there saying that you can work and also pay your tuition. Hmm. I'm not, not going to tell you that it's not possible and I'm not going to tell you that it's possible but I can tell you that the kind of tuition you are paying will determine if you can do that. And mind you, if you are coming to America, you only have 20 hours to work and that 20 hours has to be within the campus yes you can't walk outside the campus so guys that's what i felt i should share with you guys today i wish you guys all the best of luck uh, please let me know what you think about this uh, content
um, in the comment section um, if you are in any way in part of the world and you are doing your program and you you are able to use um, um, let's say in fact let, let, let's say your success story let's um, let's other people also learn from um, you if you are in abroad and you are doing a program you are working and you're able to like cope you can put it in the comment section so guys that's what I have for you today that I felt I should share with you guys um, to the prospective international student and people who are considering okay should we accept an offer or whatever so guys thanks for watching and I will see you guys and don't forget please guys subscribe to the channel like the video yeah please it's gonna go a long way to help me to keep creating content so guys see you in the next video bye for now